Today we're going to look at the Homeschool Interactions features of Evidence Me. To get this going, you'll need to add the parents' email addresses into Evidence Me so they can be welcomed into the system and download the app to log in. You can do this in a few different ways. If we click on Learners to the left, you'll see the list of classes and learners. If you click on a class, you'll see the learners in that class. To add an email address in for learners already in the system, you can choose the learner and click on the Edit pen at the top. This will allow you to see the learner's details and to the right of that you can click on Parent. Here you can select or type in their email address and save the changes. That will trigger the welcome email to that parent. If you're doing this from the beginning you can upload learners. When I click on Upload Learners I can browse to find a CSV file on my computer. This CSV file contains the pupils data as well as the email addresses for the parents. When I click on Upload those pupils will be added into the system. In the classes area on the left, you'll see it's added unassigned learners. This is where it's placed the new learners that I've just uploaded. We recommend you do this one class at a time. If all of these learners are in the same class, then I can click on the plus to add the class name, add a description, and create. I can then select all of the learners that I have uploaded and drag them into my new class. Now when I select the new class, on the right hand side I'll see those learners. Just unselect the ones I've got selected. If I click on a learner and I click on the edit pen and click on parent, you'll see that the email addresses have already been added in. The invitation though has not yet been sent. I tick send invitation and save the changes. At that point the invitation is sent to the parent to join Evidence Me. So you can add email addresses into individuals by going to edit. You can add them to your CSV and add them in when you upload the learners. On the left you'll also see Parent Share. When I click on Parent Share I'll see at the top I've got two tabs, Observations and Parents. When I click on Parents I'll see a list of the pupils in my Evidence Me. Here towards the bottom you'll see the ones I've just added in. So those ones I've just added in show the child's name, the parent, the parent email address and that in this case the invitation has not yet been sent. I can go down this list if I want to and send the invitations to those parents. Once the parents have received their welcome invitation Follow through to the links to set up their account, you'll see that their status is set to confirmed. This means that when you share content with them now, they'll be notified and they'll be able to view it in their app and communicate with you. We'll have a little look now at how that works. Memories are most commonly captured on tablets with Evidence Me. The teacher, like in this case, has loaded up the application on a tablet and taken a picture or video or imported some media for the observation. On the right hand side, we can alter some details of that. And beneath this, we can add in notes, learners, objectives, and next steps objectives. I'm going to tap on and add a couple of notes here. Now that I've added the notes in, it has suggested that Noah is present in the media that I've captured and added Noah in as a learner. I could tap to edit that, and you'll see at the top, I can choose the class and tick the learner. I can untick and tick again, the learner that I want to add into that observation, and then tap observation details back at the top. You can then add in objectives and next steps objectives. If I scroll back to the top, I can tag parent share. One of two things can happen when I tap parent share. It will go green and what I've got set up on here is that the observation will be queued for release to parents. It suggests that I visit the web suite to review and send my parent observations. So when I tap this, this observation did not immediately go to Noah's parent. Okay, you can turn that off so that it does immediately go to the parent and we'll have a look at that shortly. I'm going to tap continue on this one. When I scroll down, if I had added objectives or next steps objectives, these are not shared with the parents. So the parents see uh, the notes and they see the details at the top here. If you wanted to, you can turn it on so that objectives are shared with parents and I'll show you how to do that a bit later. So this observation I've just taken appears here in the web suite once it's synced. On the left hand side, when I go to parent share, I'll see on the left hand side, the observations tab. Now this is the area in which they're stored up for release to parents. You'll see now under all learners, I've got one pending release and there's the observation I've just taken. Towards the bottom here, we've got Noah and that observation is for Noah, so it's showing as one against Noah as well. Now in reality, there'll be several in here and you might want to go through them and just check them before they are sent. So I can click on that observation. I can view the details. I can add in any details I want to, edit the notes, etc., add remove learners, add in any further media and then click back once I'm happy with it. If I just go back into it, if I didn't want it to be fair and shared, I could edit the observation details and actually take it out of the parent share area. Okay, I'm just gonna come out of that one for a minute. Back in this area, you'll see we've automatically applied the parent share observations only filter, so that only those tagged for parent observation will come up here to be released to parents. 
When you're happy, you can click on this to release the observation to the parent. Now I've released it, there's no observations left in this folder. You can turn off the parent share review process by logging in as the admin user and going to the menu and clicking on administration. In here, you can select parent share on the left hand side and switch the parent share review process off. Once you've done this, observations will be released immediately to parents as soon as they are created. By default, parents see the details of the observation and the media without the objectives and the next steps objectives. On the left hand side under observation objectives, you can switch on the objectives so parents see the objectives for the learners when you share observations. While we're in the admin area, we'll have a look at a couple of the other options. In a minute, we'll have a look at the fact that parents can create observations themselves. When they create observations, you can control the observation notes fields that they see. By default, teachers see the notes and next steps comments notes fields and parents see a parent note field. If you want to add another notes field that parents can see, you can simply click on the add, give it a name and click on parent to make a parent notes field. Once you've created it, you can activate it and click on create. Back in the app here, let's log in as the parent. You'll see that when I'm logged in as a parent, I've got a range of observations in the observations area. If I tap on a previous observation that's been shared with me, I'll be able to view that observation. At the moment, I've got the option tick to share objectives with parents so I can see them here. Here I can see the date, time and who the observation was observed by. Underneath that, I can see the learners in that observation. And underneath that, I can see parent notes. You'll see here there's two learners that aren't showing because I'm not the parent of these learners. I'm the parents of Polly and Hayden. Underneath here, there's a parents notes field. Now, even though the teacher has shared this observation with me, I can add a note in here to reply or comment on the observation itself. When a parent does that, if I just move the iPad to the right a moment and go back into the main area of Evidence Me, on the home page here, if I scroll down, you'll see an activity feed. If a parent's left a note on an observation, it will come up in here and I can click on it to view it. Let's have a little go at that. I'm going to tap Add here and we'll tap in here. Lovely. And then back on Observation Notes and then Observations. This one says it's saved locally. It will be sent to the Observations Library shortly. We go back to observations there and then that will update. You'll see it's going to update, it's got a little yellow upwards arrow in the corner of the observation. Now, as a parent, I can also create my own observations. I go to the create screen here, I can add in some media and then you'll see what I can do. I can edit the observation details, I can tap to add my learners. Of course, I've got uh, multiple children, so I'm going to just tap the one that's relevant for this observation and then I'm going to add in any parents' notes here. Some great writing by Hayden, some great writing. I hate it. Of course, I could use the microphone button to help me with that if I wanted to. And once that's done, I can tap on observations to return to my observations area and the observation appears in here. Now we've added a note to an observation that was shared with us, this one here, and we've created our own observation here as the parent. Let's move the iPad out of the way now and have a look back in the web suite. Now the parent's observation is not going to be immediately added into the area of my observations as a teacher. If I scroll down, I've got two areas at the bottom here. The first of these is the activity feed. So here it will say the parent updated the observation for Hayden. And if I click on that observation there, I'll be able to see here on the right hand side, the parent's notes. OK. If I return back from that one and I scroll down again to the right hand side here, you'll see the parent postcard. There's been a parent submission and I can click on it. I can view it. I can add further notes. I can add documents, links, objectives, next steps, objectives, etc. And if I'm happy with it, I can approve the parent submission or I can reject it. They don't need to know it's rejected, but if I approve it, it will then change to approved here. And when I click on back, it will add the parent submission into my observations here at the top. So you can create observations and share them with parents and they can comment on them and send those comments back to you. Those comments will show in the activity feed below. They can create observations and send them into you and they will appear in parent postcard area below. On the left hand side, you've also got a report section. In the reports, if I scroll down, you'll see an Evidence Me parent contact report. This shows all the contact with parents between two dates. You'll also see a learner observation report. This popular report allows you to create a PDF with all your learners' observations. When that report is clicked on, you'll see you can choose frameworks, a date range, an observation tag, and select only include observations tagged for parent viewing. Once you've set up your filters, you'll be able to click to create your report, and underneath your report, you'll be able to see a PDF version of the report you've created. This will show you the report with the top sheet that you can edit and then beneath that all the observations that you've selected. If you didn't want to generate a full report, you could use the new gallery feature. At the top, next to the admin menu, you've got My Gallery. When you load up the gallery, you can select a learner or class at the top and see all the observations or moments you've taken underneath that. 
you can select particular images on that one, that one and that one, for example. And at the bottom, you can see a link through to print, download or create a slideshow of those images. Let's select print in this case. It's selected. Let's select slideshow. This is great for putting up on the wall at parents' evenings or in the hall or even in the classroom just to share the children's work with each other. I'm going to leave you with one final feature for parent interaction. And to do that, I'm going to open up the app as a parent and tap on learners at the bottom. You'll notice next to each of the children, I've got a button that says notify the school that I have arrived. So you can use this a bit like a doorbell. I'm going to tap on notify the school that I have arrived. And then I'm going to notify the school that I am at the premises. Now in as the teacher, I'm going to tap on profiles to the bottom left. If I've got Robins up around pickup time, as the parents arrive, I'll be able to see the pickup arrive notification on the child and I can go to the door.